GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 Arid Start. So, um, we, at the end of last episode, I know we spawned this in, and I just like, um, closed off the episode with me spawning this in. Oh, I've got to retexture some of this texturing on the weapon. I was actually kind of thinking of retexturing it all to just match the uh, cargo box extensions. Now, this thing is not a tank. This is cargo and a drill. The, these are just for self-defense. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you out and show you a bit of the whole mole, what it can do. We're going to do some mining. We're going to do some exploring. Um, if we look at the map, we... We still have a huge portion of the planet to uncover. It's just, you know, I, I, I'm not quite sure if we've done, we might have uncovered half of it so far. Um, and realistically, the whole mole can hold 32,000 storage units in it, where the little, and that's wrong, that's not 16, hundred liters that's 16,000 liters we should actually let's go into this and rename this because that is just wrong we're going to call this the 16 k s u starter there we go well actually realistically right now we should call it something different like the uh like the lumina <laughs> Yeah, because that's what it looks like, a Chevy Lumina. Just just saying. Um, okay. Uh, well, let's get this guy on the road going, because we're going to fuel him up and take him out and get him resource gathering and do a bunch of stuff. So let's do this. So first of all, I'll give you a little tour of what it looks like here. Let me spawn my drone. And so the only entrance is from the top. It's a box top design. And it does have a windshield. So you can drive either from first person or third person view. Um, sometimes you have to do the first person when you're drilling because the funky camera bullshit. So yeah, uh, okay. Let's jump in. And we'll fuel this guy up. So, oh, that didn't put much in, did it? And we've got nothing there. So let's let's deal with that. And you can tell this thing is super loud. I have I have ducting going on, so when I talk, you won't be able to hear it much. Okay, so let's change this we want ruins over here we'll do the hv hole mole here so the ammo box on this thing only only holds um 1125 storage units that's good enough for just over that's about 11,250 15 mil bullets so it can hold 11,000 rounds of 15 mil so eh do you really need more than that on a freaking drill? Really? Really? Build a tank then if you if you need something more. Like really. So its ore and wood container is maxed out at the 32,000 storage units. That's the maximum amount of volume that an HV or SV can handle on a single storage con uh, controller. So uh, yeah. The other thing, too, is, I mean, sure, the, the ammo box doesn't really hold much volume, but it can also hold regular mundane stuff that doesn't actually take up volume. So, like, for instance, is there anything in here that doesn't take up volume? No? 
Okay, well, there, there's stuff that doesn't take a volume, okay? <laughs> like your weapons and stuff. Well, I, actually, you won't be able to see because I'm logged in. Or because I'm, uh, I'm sitting in the cockpit, so you can't see my weapons. Uh, so, let's continue wi fi stuff over. So, we're going to need some a little bit, just a little bit of wood. So, let's grab... That's good. And we should probably grab... Well, I was going to go mine Prometheum, so we're probably not going to need the Prometheum because we can... We'll have some. So the base is cooking up a bunch more fuel right now for us. Uh, and then let's get the basics. Let's get some basics here. So we need... Just do a little bit of each. A little bit more of the silicone. That's probably good enough. That's good enough. We don't need we don't need to go crazy with the mats on this thing because we can actually we'll be able to uh, collect um, ores. So let's see how the fuel is doing. So ruins. Go into the blocks, because I think that's where I got them dumping. Yep. And then from here, we can go into the fuel from here, and we can just directly throw that in there. Okay. And then, you know what? Let's let's put that. Let's uh, get some fuel for us here. It's only one. Well, we're going to go collect more, right? So... That'll give us incentive to go get more. I also made a bunch more base cargo extensions and a couple more cargo controllers. We're gonna go get some more stone. We're gonna make we're gonna make this base up pretty awesome now that we have this vehicle. Cause this vehicle, I can, for instance, I can just stand in here and then pop my drone out. And now I'm, you can see that the temperature, I am in a nice protected environment. So that's Uber. Oh, let's get some oxygen in here. Yeah. So did we make any? No. I think, I think the Lumina has a bunch. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's got some. Oh, it's got, it's got lots of fuel too. Uh, we'll leave the rust on it for for it, and you know what? We'll take uh, we'll take some of the water too. Why not? Why not? We should. That should be good. Uh, yeah, we'll take that too. <laughs> okay. Oh oh oh. We'll take we'll take the drill too, because it looks like ours is gonna break, and it's always good to have a backup. Okay. Well. Um, we don't have any ammo on us, but I guess we could take some from the Lumina or, or let's take a look on the map. Wow. Less than 10%. Crapola. Uh, so way the heck down there is the next. Okay. Well, I guess that's where we're going. Comrade, we don't we're not going to go in there. So we're we're currently friendly, is it? Friendly with both Talon and Polaris. So that's excellent. We can just go in and mine and harvest in their territories at will as long as we don't do anything to give us negative rep, which is to destroy any of their stuff, attack any of their faction members. Um, opening containers. And yeah, I, I guess those are the those are the things that are gonna give you a, a faction hit. So just don't do those. <laughs> And that's pretty much the same. It looks like the same faction hit for for both of the Polaris and Talon. Uh, spawn opening. Except for Polaris, they don't care if you harvest vegetables uh, 
outside of their or harvest plants inside their zone by the look of it. Uh, and they don't, it doesn't look like they care about prey either. Whereas Talon, if you attack prey, you'll take a faction hit. So they only mind if you attack, they only want you attacking predators. And that's it. That's all they want you to do is attack predators by the look of it. So the other thing too is we, we have these other quests that I was looking at, the faction quests. So let's, I want to look at that stuff too, because I think this can add a lot of value to what we're doing. So there's, there's stories that we can activate these and get these huge amount of faction points with them. And I think I want to do that. Uh, this one gives us beer and an epic drill. Now we don't know what it what it does. Uh, you've been chosen to take part in early access from best selling totally overpower root beer, yolk on the sky on the orbital trading station on the orbital trading station for more info. So I I got to go to space first. So we're not going to do that one. Then. Uh, let's take a look to see what else. So there's privacy matters. Privacy, shut down some of their drones. Do you think you can shut reputation? Okay, so let's let's take a look at this one. This one's going to give us Polaris faction and a money card. Green is from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think you can shut down some of their drones? Okay. Find location. Oh, really? We got a location? Did we really? Hmm. Okay. Um, small wreckage? It highlighted the small wreckage for us. Well, that's really cool. Let's go do these. Let's go do this quest. And then we can pick up some of the ores when we... Okay, so we, we're going to need... Um, we're going to need... Let's grab, let's just grab stuff out of the Lumina. We'll grab, <laughs> we'll steal its, steal his ammo. Sorry, buddy. We need you. We'll have to make some on the way. We'll leave some in the Lumina. Okay, so we've got decent amount of power. Oh, oxygen. Jeez, all this time. Let's, can we turn that on? No, because we got to fill it. No? Okay, so did we not grab it? Ugh. Let's, um... Did we not grab it? Player? No, I didn't grab it on me. Uh, oh, I put it in here. Well, that's why. We can just go like this then. That's fine. Which is that way? Wow, that's heavy! Okay, we're going to put it back in the uh, orange wood. Holy crap. Uh, that's really heavy too, isn't it? Let's move half of those. Okay. Okay, so we've got ammo for a gun. Oh, we've got no food. Crap. Okay. So we should be able to now turn on the oxygen. Uh, here, let's just fill up really quick here. And then we're going to go into the food of the base. Uh, what do we got here? Fridge, two, cooked food. Yeah, we made a whole bunch of steaks, and sandwiches. There we go. So, oh, let's stay here. We'll go fridge on the whole mole. Uh, we'll grab these grilled steaks too. Let's chow down on a couple of those. That's good. We'll leave those at the base. I can use those to craft um, like emergency rations and stuff too. So, okay, I think we're good to go. Let's uh, do it. So small wreckage. So it highlighted them all, did it? So I guess we can go to any of them then. Is that the, so that's way then. Okay, we're coming up on them now. So let's, Let's uh, see what happens. I've got all my turrets ready. 
I'm on my Gatling guns just in case, so we'll see what happens. Um, take care of drones. That's really weird that it would send us to the small wreckage. Because why would there be any drones around here? That doesn't make any... Last time I noticed drones floating around here, I don't see any. Oh, behind us I do! Holy crap, what the hell? Um... Whoa! <laughs> Come on, turrets! Go, go, gadget turrets! Yeah! Woo! Crap, this thing... This thing has armor in the front of it, but not where the the boxes are. Okay, so what, what was that all about? That was crazy. Okay, don't be starting that uh, uh, quest unless you have a pretty good HV. So, what now? Was that it? I'm just a... I don't want to jump out and then to loot these things and then die, right? So... Oh, let's do it. 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 Because they've got stuff like that. Ooh. They had money? I didn't know drones had money. 500. Or did I... Oh, that was my payout. Okay, so that was it. A one-shot... Was that it then? Just a one-shot... Oops. Uh, privacy matters. Mission can be activated again. Oh, it's a repeatable quest. It's like a daily. Okay, what's this one then? Wonderful performance in your last mission, but we're afraid we, we need to invest more time. Money card. Another... Some minerals seem to affect well, and we do not. Just got a few ore deposits, only for checking the living conditions. Okay, hmm. Okay, well, let's do that. So, watch us to find ore deposits. Is it going to show us a direction, maybe? Iron ore. Look at that. 1.89 kilometers away. It actually, it actually pointed us to ore. That's our previous ones, but hey, it that's okay. I kind of wanted to go there anyway, right? Okay, so these are these are completely new. I never did these in uh, experimental at all. So, awesome. I like doing stuff new that I've never experienced before. So, I'm really glad I did that last one with a with a vehicle that could handle it. And we should actually get out and check to see how much damage it did. So here's the old wreckage location. Okay, so find deposit one. And then, yeah, it's, it wants us to go is it going to make us go to a different one? Nope. So it's the silicone copper. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys something really awesome right now. Uh, let's go in and retract the drills. Or put the stick the drills out. We're going to, we're going to pull the turrets in. Okay, so at this point... It is drill ready. Now, there's only 10% left, so it's going to be a pain in the ass, but that's okay. We'll get in here nice and quick. Get rid of these spurs or burrs or whatever you want to call the dirt that floats in the air. And, oh, there's one of my nuggets that I couldn't pick up. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to get down in there. Okay, so now we can... Scoop this up. Uh, and I 
think that's almost done there. There's a little sliver somewhere right there. There we go. Okay. And we'll get out. And no problem. We are out. Okay. Let's go to these other ones. So that wasn't much in that. There was hardly anything left in that one. That would have been really crappy, I'm sure. Actually, we can look at it just in here too, right? So, plus we got to dump off stuff. It's going to here. And so we, yeah, 22. Blah. Wasn't even worth the effort. I just wanted to clear it out. And those now weigh nothing. Which they shouldn't have ever have weighed anything. They have no mass and no volume. Okay, so it wants us to find these. Well, obviously, there's that one found. There's that one found. And we got another thousand Polaris. And did it give us more money? It did. See? These are so easy. Okay. So that was it. The wildlife cam is done and can be activated again in 60 minutes. Holy crap. Holy crap. So I guess you just want to leave deposits to reactivate. You know, that seems a little cheesy. I don't think we're going to do that. I'm, I'm going to mine these out. What's the next thing? Currently our biggest concern are the radiated zones in this planet. Promethium stones deposit. So bring back a few samples of Promethium so we can make profit. Examine it. So... Okay, we'll do that next. That sounds awesome. What is our faction standing with them now? We are friendly and oh, I think we're getting really close to uh, to honored. And I don't know what happens when we're honored. Spawn a structure or vessel in Polaris territory, none if reputation is honored or better. So I could actually make a, build a building in their territory without taking a faction hit if I hit honored or spawn in a vehicle. Okay. Uh, and that seems to be, okay. That's the only benefit I'm going to get. I think there's, I think the factions vendors also give you a discount. Okay, so let's uh, let's mine this out real quick. All right, let's drop in here. Get this going. So they, because we have that, the rock overhead, or the, the dirt overhead, it screws up our camera in third person, but it, that has nothing to do with this vehicle, that's just the type of, of camera shenanigans that everyone has to deal with, so, but really not that big of a deal. I can't wait till I get laser drills that I can upgrade to because this thing really kicks ass with laser drills. You can see how this thing doesn't bounce around or nothing. It's just solid, solid. Love it, love it, love it. And we've got a spur underneath this. I can tell when it... Yeah, see that? Okay. So, now can we get out the sheer cliff face without digging? Oh, looks like we'll be able to. Yep. Okay. No problem. Climb right out. We'll collect this silicone, which is only 10% left. Wow. That won't take long. We'll just... <laughs> okay, done. Done. <laughs> and... Come on. Up you go. Okay, so it wants us to collect Prometheum. 
I wonder if it's going to send us to a Promethium new marker. Look at, uh, hmm, wait, no. Is that right? Is that one that I did? I think that's my marker, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so Promethium, Promethium. We can go there, but that's not a radiated zone. That is, but we can't get there unless we take out the Comray. Uh, that's not radiated, that's Polaris. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to find a radiated zone with... I don't know if we need to be in a radiated zone, to tell you the truth. Okay, so... Where the heck are we again here? We're here. Let's just go up to... Let's try mining... In the Polaris. Let's see if... Here, let's go to this one. Let's go to that one and see if this will count. Because I'm not really sure. So also this uh, build 2099 introduced a UI bug with the oxygen icon. Which is kind of funky. Uh, so if you, if I take my fingers off the throttle... It goes solid. It's, it'll start flashing if I have my finger on the throttle for too long. Watch, it'll start flashing. See, it's flashing now. That's weird. Take my finger off the throttle. It stops. Continue on, and it starts flashing. Yeah, I don't know. That's a new bug. And this fog really sucks on my video. It just... God... I, I kind of want to clear the weather. Kind of want to clear the weather, but let's check this. I'm really getting some. Why is my frame rate just get nuked? Is it the fog? Does the fog kill my frame rate? As you can see, it it's just jolting me. Nice and smooth, and then wham. Okay, so. Let's see what happens when we drill this. Now, do we have a... Can we see... Yeah, let's turn the lights off. No? Oh, right. That's not lights anymore. we got to... Oh, I don't know what the shortcut to the lights are. I'll just go like this. It's just easier to see the... Uh, the glowing outline in blue with the lights off. What does it want? 15. Let's see. What's this going to give us? Come on. And no, that didn't give it to us. Okay, so. Hmm. I wonder. Huh. Let's get. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try hand bombing one. Let's just get really close to it. We'll dig up to it. Okay, can I get a, just a bit closer? Just a bit closer without popping it? Okay, let's try... Let's try hand bombing it. How do I... Oh, I'm all topsy-turvy here. Let's jump this way. There we go. So, drill. There we go. And ground drill. Let's set our... And there, that worked. Okay, so I needed to do it by hand. <laughs> so I had a suspicion that it wouldn't work if my vehicle drilled it up. Okay. Well, now we know. Now we know. Okay, well, I can... Here, let's get some view going here. 
so I can see what we're doing. Can't see very well. <laughs> Digging up to it here, and oh, there's a nugget. There we go. Get this one. Oh, I'm in between drills, aren't I? There, there we go. Now, was that it? Was that it for this? Here, let's let's. Out of here. Uh, no, there's still there's still something somewhere. I can't see it though. Promethium sucks to to mine. <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, come on, camera. Really? Are you gonna do this? Really? We're gonna do this, camera? Really? Oh. Oh, there we go. Thank you. It's hard to see what you're doing when your camera is just freaking out. Okay, so where is the other piece? There's got to be another small little chunk somewhere. 10%? Oh, there it is, right below us. See that? Right there. <laughs> Drill straight down to it. Come on. Get some. Come on. You can do it. All right. And we'll just back out. And we're out. So, yeah, it can drill straight down and come back right straight back out. <laughs> As you just well saw. So, awesome. I love, love this drill. This HV. Okay, so now we're done drilling. Uh, well, that was excellent. That uh, that gave us a quest thing, some more quest things. So, um, what's our faction like now? See, we're honored now because that was huge faction gain. So we're honored. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Well, um, hmm. Tenant Valley or Combine to improve our company's situation. Yep. Head there and help with the defenses. Oh, help with the defenses. How cool is that? They're going to get attacked. I think that's for another episode. So I'm going to continue to mine like crazy. I'm going to head back to the ruins because I'm going to mine all this up because I can mine it, it all up in their zone without getting nuked by them because they like me. I'm, I'm honored with them. Got a bunch of money cards. We can, we can, hmm. Power plant smelter. We're going to have to find their uh, vendor. He's, oh, he might be down over there. So that, we might check that out next episode too. So we might go check out the vendor and continue on with the quest chain. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.